Hello, hello everyone, and welcome on back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we are constructing this wonderful little town library build you can see behind me, which is actually a modification of the town library I have over in my survival world, First Light. Now, the main little things we have changed and added is we've just got a bunch more detail brought all the way around. I did this fun little texturing piece on the roof and around the back. I've added in a little enchanting setup as part of a secondhand book swap area and made a little balcony around this left side, which I think is just so, so cute. Now, the main features of this build here are, of course, the enchanting area out back and coming inside. I will just give you a sneak peek of this interior. The lower floor is, of course, our main library area. And coming upstairs, we have the main feature of this build, which is two wonderful spots to keep some villages. We also have a cute little sleeping spot, a bunch of books all the way around, and that is basically the library that we are going to be building today. So let's jump straight into the tutorial. So bringing in our structural pillars here for the build, we're placing some oak logs first up. So we go one, a gap of three, a log, a gap of three, another log, turn the corner, a gap of two, another gap of two, turn the corner again, gap of three, gap of three, corner again, gap of two, and that is our base little rectangle here for the build. Then we are bringing up each pillar by four for a total of five and capping them all off just like this all the way around. Now from here we're gonna go straight into bringing up the supports for the second floor which we start off by grabbing some spruce stairs and going all the way around placing upside down ones around all of our logs just like that so we have this fun little flare out where each of our main beams are. Then grabbing some spruce slabs and spruce trapdoors, we're just creating this tiny little arched shape between each of these sets of stairs. And then around on these end sides with the two wide, we're just doing trapdoors like that, which I think is really, really cute. So continuing to bring these all the way around. Then we're going to be bringing up our supports, which these supports will be on all of our stair blocks, just like this. So in all of these places, all the way around, we are going to be making our next set of pillars, which these ones have a few different heights. Here on our front and on our back, we're going up three and capping it off there. So we've got a little three high segment right here and doing that one here and doing those over here on the other side as well. But over here on the sides, we are bringing them up by four for a total of five so that these sides are one higher than the front and back of the build. So now that our frame is looking something like this, we are grabbing some oak and starting to fill in these spaces. So this one here is our front door. So something just like that is a great start. Then right next to it, we are doing a too high window just like that. Above these ones, we are doing windows as well in these segments. So just like this, fill those in with the planks and then bring in our stairs to create these tiny little one high windows. Then coming around the right side, all of these ones are going to be windows as well. So we can just bring up our planks along these outer sides and then grab your oak stairs and make some fun little two high windows in all of these spots here, which actually we can cap those ones off just like that on the lower floor so it is looking something like that now the rest of the way around these lower segments don't have any windows so we're just gonna fill all of these in with our oak planks and then coming up a layer these ones don't have windows either here on the left side and on the back we do just have one window here and just fill in this one on the right so it is all blocked out and there we go already the body of the build is really coming together and we should grab a little bit of stripped oak and just start mottling this one in to add a bit more interest to the build 
And now with our body for the build looking something like this, I think we should start bringing in our roof. So grabbing some spruce stairs, just run them all the way along this top log of the build. And doing that on both sides, just like this, bringing them all the way along. And we are bringing these ones out by two from where the ends of our front and back are, just so that it goes one block past the sides of the build. Then doing a little pattern of stairs stairs and upside down stairs all the way up to meet in the middle we are creating the outside frame for our roof here and just where they're gonna meet in the center pop an upside down stair like that a stair on top and another upside down stair so we have this fun little shape and then repeating that on the other side and meeting these ones up in the middle and now that our roof frame is looking something like this that, we can go over into our spruce slabs and just connect up these two highest points from the lower half of our top stair block just like that and adding a little bit of extra detail here you can grab some spruce trap doors and just bring two out like this from the top of each one and get your spruce slabs and just alternate those all the way along this upper segment so we have a fun little top for our roof just like that then grabbing some dark oak stairs we are just gonna do the base of our roof by filling it all the way in with these ones which after that is filled all the way in our roof should be looking something like this next we're gonna bring in our little windows here on the roof so find your middle point where this beam is going up leave one dark oak stair and here on the second one pop out the two next to it just like that and then go two more along from each of those so we have this little gap of three now i do like to bring in some dark oak stairs and just go all the way along underneath to create a support for placing these blocks and from here on the outside we can then pop some spruce stairs facing inwards just like this and add a spruce slab on top so we have these two little windows right there which we can grab some glass panes and just fill those in and then repeat those on the other side and there we go we have our four little windows here in our roof now which i think next we should head straight into breaking this one up because i think that makes this roof so much more interesting and fun which we are just gonna alternate segments of our blocks into this one and then with our roof looking something like this all the way around really fun and broken up we are going to grab some spruce wood and just swap a few of our blocks all the way around out for our wood to add a bit more fun and interest to the roof and now with our spruce wood brought all the way through our roof should be looking something like this which is just so fun and cute and the final stage for breaking this one up is adding a little pop of dark oak trapdoors just sitting on top of a few of these little block pieces all the way around and there you have it a fully detailed and textured up really really fun roof here on the town library next up we are just going to finish off our log structure by bringing up that pillar and then bringing it out by three so we have this fun little beam that looks like it's going all the way through the roof repeating that on the other side just like that and then we can just fill in these gaps here with some barrels all right now with our body of the build looking something like this which is the base structure pretty much done we are just gonna start fleshing this one out a bit more so bringing in some grass or some dirt beneath this window on the left of our front door and popping some trap doors around it just like this we are going to be adding a flower box right there and a second one here connecting these two windows and just like that next we should grab some glass panes and just fill all of our windows in after that of course pop in your front door with some spruce and grab a spruce slab and some spruce trap doors just like this to create a little awning over the door with some spruce gates on either side like that to finish it off next up we should add in our little signpost so grabbing some oak logs and bringing it out just like that from this point here then grabbing some spruce trap doors popping one here here underneath it like this and one on the side and from there grab yourself a spruce button pop it on the end of that one 
add a chain right there, one piece of oak wood hanging from underneath the chain, and a little lantern right beneath that. Then from here, grab your item frames and just pop those all the way around, and then add your books into those ones for this really fun little library sign. Then finishing this one off with some barrels, just replace that log there with a barrel for a bit of extra detail, and you can actually bring these barrels into the lowest piece of our support logs all the way around. Then adding in a little bit more detail to the sides here, grab some slabs and place them like this along the top half of this log on the second floor. Then with some spruce trap doors, just fill those gaps. And repeating that on the other side as well. And then grabbing some spruce stairs, we're gonna do our little hanging lights from these support beams. So just like that, with a spruce trap door at the end of it, a little button on the end of our log, and then a grindstone hanging upside down like this, with a chain and a lantern coming off the end of it. And repeating that on the other side, so our stair, our trap door, our button, our grindstone, and just to offset this one and to accommodate for the balcony for those that are adding it, this lantern just goes straight on the grindstone without the chain. Next up, we are just gonna do some final roof detail by adding some spruce trap doors all the way along the trim of our roof, just like this on both sides. And grabbing some berries and a fern or two, we are just going to bring those into our bushes and then grab some more spruce trap doors to create some shutters here for all of our windows. And now with our build looking something like this, which is already just so, so cute. Just bring in a chain and a lantern on this front left corner and one more lantern without a chain on the opposing corner for a tiny bit of extra detail. And voila, you have yourself a beautiful little town library that can slot really well into any world. And if you want to stick around for the rest of the tutorial, next we are adding in our balcony. So coming in here with our barrels at the bottom of our pillars, we are counting out in one and two, just like this from either side so we have this three gap between the barrels on this left side of the build. Then bringing oak logs up from these barrels so that it goes one higher than the cap off logs for that lower floor and connecting these up just like this. So then our balcony supports are something like that. Next we can bring our door in which is just going to be going right here and getting rid of these floor pieces and just popping in some spruce slabs and then placing our door right in here. Next up, we're just gonna detail this balcony out a little by creating this really, really cute little lectern banister, which we are then adding some spruce slabs on top of our pillars and some spruce trap doors on top of all of our lecterns. And for a final little bit of detail here with our balcony, grab some spruce trap doors and just pop them on the edges where our cross beams connect with our main pillars and add them underneath just like this and underneath just like that so they're kind of coming out from the main pillar as well. And now your library has a really cute little side balcony. And last but not least for this exterior, if you are interested in adding our little secondhand bookshop area, the main structural piece of that is going to be our awning. Now we can actually bring this awning in from just where this back corner of the build is right next to our balcony. So coming in here and counting out one, two, three, four, and then on the fifth one, placing our barrel, going across three and placing another barrel just like that. So there's a gap of four here and a gap of three here. Next, we are just bringing some oak logs up from each of these, going up by three. Then grabbing some spruce, we are going to start bringing out the frame for this awning. So starting from this bottom right corner of this section here with our spruce slab, going down one, out by two, 
down one, out one, down one, out one. So we have this fun little arch and then running our spruce slabs all the way along the back and repeating that pattern all the way up until this point, which we can then just finish that connection off with a spruce stair. Then connecting all of this frame up with just some dark oak slabs, which after that is done, we can just start bringing in a bunch more extra roof detail, something like that to just really thicken up and bring some more love in to our dark oak roof with those slabs. Then we can actually grab some stairs and swap out our slabs on this lower segment just like that. And we could even bring some stairs into these pieces so that our roof is looking something like this. Which next up, just grab a little bit of spruce wood and anywhere where they're the blocks and not the slab layer, you'll be able to bring in a bit more detail with those ones. And now to finish off this little awning, we are just just grabbing some dark oak trapdoors and popping them around the roof like that and grabbing some spruce trapdoors and popping three along there in this little alternating pattern and adding one on either side at the start of our too long segment of that awning. Now if you're sticking around for a bit more of the details I think a great first step to that phase here would be knocking out our floor and bringing in some dark oak. So just filling this all the way in for now and then turning our attention upwards with some oak logs we are just going to be connecting up all of our cross beams where our initial structural pillars are and adding some spruce slabs in all the sections they leave blank so we have this fun little indented roof and with that done we can actually just bring our staircase up so coming over here into the left corner we're placing our first stair just there popping a book next to it and then another stair which this is our spot for our little door if you want to add that piece with a spruce slab on top of it a spruce slab one higher to the right and then knocking all of these ones out so we can continue our stairs just like that all the way up to the top and adding a trap door right there for that tiny little bit more of a closed in staircase and now that our access to the top is established let's do a few more exterior details by first knocking out some of these wall segments which we are doing this big three by three square right here swapping this middle one to a wood piece and doing some oak stairs just like that here and over on this side as well maybe something just like this and what these knockouts mean is that we can bring in some bookcases that then function both as internal and external details so grabbing our dark oak and just making the floor reach out to those bookcases and maybe bringing a few looms in just to make it look like we have these empty segments in our bookshelf and repeating that over on this side as well. And now we have more space here on the inside and some bookshelves that we can do up from the outside to look really, really cute. And just finishing off this staircase with some bookshelves through here as well. And coming in here, maybe swapping this one to a loom and maybe this one so that we have this really really cute fun bookshelf that we can then just edge off with some spruce trap doors and heading back around to the outside we can start doing up the rest of our exterior details so first coming over here to our bookshelf we have now made on the outside we can bring some spruce trap doors along all of the edges here and maybe some slabs on top and a stair in the middle so I might need to <laughs> destroy a few blocks just to place it like that with the flat side coming out and then grabbing some more books we can fill in this space with five of them just like that maybe three here in this corner five like this right here and then seven here in the back for something just like that which we can then detail out these bookshelves with some spruce so maybe a stair here a stair here, a stair here, and a stair here on these ones. And then grabbing some trap doors and bringing those through. Maybe another stair right there. Trap door here, a trap door capping off the end of that. 
trapdoor on top there, two there, another two right there, and a trapdoor there. So that we just don't have any exposed book ends, but we have these really cute shelves all the way around, which is exactly what we're going to be doing over here to this one as well. Maybe switching it up and popping a slab on that left one and then continuing with our trapdoors. So we have these fun little external bookshelves. Now popping in our enchanting table, I have left us a few extra bookshelves that we'll be able to swap out for some looms without compromising getting level 30. So we can pop one out there. We can easily do this top one and then maybe this top left one right here and the bottom middle one. I think we should still be able to get level 30 from that. Yes, wonderful. We have exactly the right amount of bookshelves left to have this really cute little enchanting area on the outside. And then bringing in our little second hand bookshelf bent. First we are just doing some upside down spruce stairs that meet in the middle like that and then grabbing some trap doors maybe doing something like that for a bit of extra detail a few decorative signs around the table and one right here with our second hand bookshop sign book swap I mean and it should be looking something just like that which I'm also just gonna pop up a sign here do our wonderful little dash technique to add some more detail and write in leave a book take a book and finishing this one up pop a lantern here on the table and maybe a flower pot with something like a spruce sapling in it and grabbing another lantern you can bring it down just there so that this area is now well lit and really really cute and bringing in a few final external details over this side we can bring another little garden bed in here next to this balcony pillar three long with some oak trap doors to accent that middle block with the spruce trap doors the rest of the way around a few more berries and a fern and then and then coming over here next to our bookshelf and maybe adding another little spruce stair table with just a lantern there and maybe another little spruce sign piece just there for that extra pop of detail. And now your exterior for this wonderful library build is all done except for the ground and terrain work which I will just bring you over here and show you what I've done. So of course we have our standard pattern of path block mottled with a bunch of coarse dirt, a little bit of oak plank and spruce plank all the way through and some hidden trapdoor lights just for that extra bit of security for this build in survival worlds. Over here in our little second hand book swap corner we did something a bit different for the terrain just to make sure this area stood out as an important section of the build which we've done so with a model of dark oak planks, dark oak wood, podzol and of course keeping a little bit of coarse dirt and spruce in that one. And now coming in here to do a few final bits with this interior grab some spruce logs and some dark oak logs and we are just going to be mottling those into our floor down here and we're going a bit lighter on our dark oak logs than on our spruce logs because the contrast is a little bit higher so they add a bit of a messier look and our floor should be looking something like this. Heading upstairs, I will just show you how we do our main divider walls for our villager segment. So bringing up a center pillar all the way to the top, right here where our cross beams meet. And we can just bring a log all the way across the top as well, where our external logs would be connecting up. Then we can bring in a few more connecting cross beams just like this at the same level of these front and back cross beams. And here on the inside, we can bring our cross beam across one higher where our side cross beam goes. Then adding in our little villager doorways with some oak blocks just like this, oak stairs like that, mottling those up with our stripped oak logs, and popping in some spruce fence gates just to keep our villagers trapped in there. Then from over inside the villager section, we are making a big divider wall here out of our bookshelves, and filling in all these upper gaps as well for something just like this, destroying any stairs that get in the way and repeating that over on the other side. Then as we always do, grabbing our looms and just breaking up 
these bookcases. And to finish off the interior of this roof, we are just grabbing some dark oak stairs and filling in these gaps. And here beside our little windows, just popping some spruce trap doors. And repeating that here inside our villager rooms as well, this will about finish up today's tutorial. And with our interior base work all done there, I will give you a final show of the interior over in the finished build, just in case you want to copy what I have done onto the inside of your own work. So here is this one fully fleshed out. I have added a tiny splash of our brown carpet through here. We have a bunch of little books brought in on shelves with pots and bits and pieces. I'll just kind of show you so you're able to pause and copy it around if you'd like to. We've also done a little bit of slab and trapdoor action on our cross beams over here in this corner again with some carpet, this seat where we have our lectern, our item frames, this little shelf unit in the corner and a little shelf piece above and heading on upstairs to this interior we've got some signs up for the main enchanted book trade for each villager. We've got a little bit of stair and trapdoor action on this cross beam, a lantern hanging down we've got this ladder going all the way up to this cross section log where we've got our little bed for sleeping in the library and we have these really fun side shelving units inside each of the room this right room is something like this so we have this little storage unit right here we've got a little barrel a lamp a bed a little bit more carpet action bush lectern and here in the other room as well again a lectern a chest barrel oak trap door and just a bunch more little shelving units all the way up and around. And that is about it for today's tutorial. This has been a pretty long detail heavy one, but I think the final product is just so fun, so interesting. It has so much love and life involved. And I think it would make such a fun addition to any world. Thank you so, so much for coming along for today's tutorial. If you haven't already, don't forget to leave a like comment, subscribe, let me know what your favorite part of today's build is, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!